What's going on, people? I'm your host, Double R, and you're now tuned in to Retro Rob Television. Um, I want to talk about this particular scene in the series called The Shot, right? Uh, many of you, uh, just like I, um, are just getting into this. Well, I ain't just getting into it. I'm, I'm at this scene right here. Uh, many of you have already watched it. You know, many of you had, you know, are just getting started. But I wanted to talk about this particular scene. Uh, this series has, like, mad subliminals in it. But I want to talk about this particular scene because this particular scene highlights the reason why women can't take it, you know, when it comes to having open relationship or open marriage. In this particular case, it's open marriage. You know, um, the guy Emmett, which is her baby father, um, had sex with Lala Anthony and stepped out, you know, and um, before they got married. And she felt some type of way about that. And she decided to go sleep with the other dude, Dante. And um, she talked, had a conversation with her friends and her friends told her that they should just think about having an open marriage. Now, uh, people that, many of you that have watched this show already understand, you know, just how much of a, a player or a male gigolo um, Emmett is, you know, her baby father. And um, Emmett agreed to it, having an open marriage and uh, he started messing with different females in, her, in their house, you know, in the car. And she felt some type of way about in the house, in the car in particular. But it wasn't the in the house, the in the car part. It's this fact. Um, women, catch, they catch feelings. And I always say this. I don't care who, what you think you are and who you think you are. Women cannot fight their feelings. They can't run away from their feelings. They can't run away from their emotions. You know, this why uh, dudes can sleep around, but still have that main chick, you know, still have feelings for that main chick. Women can't do that. Women uh, mess around with like four dudes, four or five dudes. And out of those four or five, start catching feelings, real feelings for like one or two of them. You know, probably three, depending on, you know, how she's being treated. And in this scene, you know, I can't play it for you guys because, you know, they do copyrights and stuff like that. I ain't trying to get caught up in that, you know. But in this scene, um, I'll put the link in the description for y'all. In this scene, right, um, you can tell, you know, because she has all these rules and all these stipulations, you know, as to what he can and cannot do. You know, you can't do nothing in the house. You can't do nothing in this car. You know, um, you may should consider messing around with a white woman. You know, everything. And he's, you know, adhering to it. You know, he's accepting it, sort of. You know, but all, out of all of these stipulations and all of these rules that she's giving Emmett, um, Emmett just had one rule. He had one stipulation. And that was for her to stop messing with the dude Dante. Because Emmett understands that his baby mama is catching feelings for the dude Dante. You know, I already seen how she was looking at him, you know, before Emmett had had his little thing with Lala. You see what I'm saying? Um, but she didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. But I can already see she had that look, you know, like if, you know, my baby father, you know, even even do even breathe wrong, you know, I'm going to be visiting you again. And that was the first place she went, you know, without hesitation when her baby father came out and admitted that he did indeed have sex. Um, many of you will say cheated, but you know, we'll have another conversation for another day. But um, this just highlights, this scene right here just highlights. And she tried to rationalize and, and come up with excuses as to why it is a best thing for her, the best thing for her to continue to mess, to mess around with this cat, you know, Dante. Um, she already admitted to Emmett that Dante, you know, um, eat the cereal better. You feel me? Um, I can't say what I really want to say on here, but, you know, he eat the cereal better. I'll say that. You know, y'all get what I'm saying. And, um, you know, he Emmett felt some type of way about that. You know, but all Emmett really is worrying about is if she's actually starting to catch feelings for him. And is Dante going to replace how she feels about Emmett? You know, as, as far as, you know, uh, uh, where he stands in her heart. You see what I'm saying? Like a man 
can mess around like this proven in this particular, you know, scene where Emmett was was going around messing with, with different women, you know, be at it in their home, be at it in the car. But you can tell he really wasn't really feeling it. You know, he was getting fellatio, but he wasn't really feeling it. He was still thinking about her. You see what I'm saying? And um, she was, you know, getting her thing going, you know, getting head. And um, she was really in, into it. You know, she even came out and admitted that, you know, he give better head than Emmett give. You feel me? But um, Emmett ain't really too concerned, you know, because a woman's a, a woman cheating is off of revenge. You see what I'm saying? It's off of spite and off of revenge. A man's cheating is just it, it could be a multitude of things. You know, it could be, you know, she uh, she's nagging too much. You know, she ain't, they did have a situation where Emmett felt like he wasn't getting sex like he used to get. You see what I'm saying? Um, and that was at a time when he messed with Lala Anthony, that he wasn't really, you know, getting the cheeks like he wanted to get it. You see what I mean? Or he felt he should be getting it. You know, but but they was married. They, I mean, they, it was before they was married, though. But, you know, but I just wanted to talk about this because this highlights why, you know, it's not good. And even biblically, even spiritually, um, a woman is not supposed to mess with a man, period, outside of the man that she's with, whether in relationship, whether married, whatever. She's not supposed to step out. Now, women get mad at this fact, but a man, as long as the woman isn't married, can step out, you know. So uh, biblically, spiritually, Emmett isn't wrong, you know. Um, and he wasn't married, you feel me? But it's not the man being married. It's you cannot sleep with a married man's woman. You cannot mess with a married man's woman. You know, it's not, a, you know, you can't, a married man can't mess with a single woman. You see what I'm saying? You know, you cannot mess because it's all about your neighbor. You know, it's all about respecting the next man. You cannot mess with his wife. You know, but if she's single, it's fair game. You know, and a lot of women, they can't stand that. They can't stand that. You know, the fact that we can do that and we have that right, but they don't have that right. And this is the reason why they don't have that right, because they catch feelings. They catch feelings. And this scene, and I'm going to put the link in the description, in this scene, she's trying to rationalize. She's trying to come up with all kinds of reasons on why she should still mess around with this dude. You want to know why? Because she still feels like something may be there. He may be able to provide something to her that Emmett hasn't been giving or Emmett was given that's not that's no longer there, that's missing now. You see what I'm saying? He felt she, he's a new thing. So essentially, no, she did not cheat like how Emmett cheated initially. But the emotions and the feelings was already there for Dante. You know, uh, Emmett just gave her an excuse to do what she already wanted to do. And I, I know people will probably view this video and be like, well, why are you attacking a woman? Why are you not saying this and saying that? You know, again, I have my own beliefs on, on what is what is and what ain't. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I'm just highlighting the reason why, you know, women should not and why. You know, it isn't a good thing for them to to step out if they got a man already. You know, be at a marriage, be at a relationship, because a man can sleep with like five chicks and still only have feelings for his main chick. A woman can't mess with five dudes and not catch feelings for at least one or two of them dudes or three of those dudes. You see what I'm saying? So it's your boy Double R, man. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Look to hear from you guys. Peace.